Let's talk about flex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all, stay tuned. Video coming up. <laughs> So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Flex. So Flex is a monthly subscription that helps you pay rent on time, improve cash flow, and build your credit history. So how Flex works is, so Flex allows you to split your rent payments into two. So let's just dive into and just see because it seems really simple. All right, so first step is obviously signing up for Flex. So you're going to enter your property details. You're going to check your eligibility for a Flex line of credit. You're going to add your payment method, and then you're going to choose your payment schedule. Okay, so, so far I've searched high and low, read the terms and conditions everywhere I've been looking to see what is the ideal credit score range a person needs to be in. And so the main thing that I've learned from other people who've personally used Flex is, it's not necessarily that it's a credit score number that you need to have, the main thing is your profile. So ensuring that your credit utilization is at least 30% or lower will be ideal, not having any collections or have recently made any late payments, and definitely not having a public record on your credit profile before you attempt to see if you're eligible for this, because this could really be helpful for those of you who are, you know, paycheck to paycheck, money is tight, and this will just give you a little bit more wiggle room. All right, so the next step is you pay part of your rent when it's due. Now, on the first of the month, Flex is going to go ahead and make that full payment to your property, and you're going to pay Flex half of whatever it is that your rent is. So as far as your rental property or apartment complex is concerned, your payment is made. You just got to make sure that you pay Flex back the next payment, okay? So when it's time for that second payment to come out, which is adjustable, by the way, um, typically that second payment comes out on the 15th, but you do have six days until the end of the month. So let's say it's September, you have until the 24th to make that payment without being penalized or possibly losing your eligibility, eligibility to continue with Flex, all right? So then the fourth step would just obviously be when that second payment is due to go and pay that second payment and then bam, you're done, rinse and repeat the next month if you continue to do so. So it sounds pretty good, like as far as I'm concerned, like, so obviously what that looks like. So let's look at how they have it listed on their website. So they break it down with an example of a $1,600 rent payment. So the first payment, you would pay $808. Now, so I click to see why is there an additional $8? Like, what is that for? Example payments include a 1% bill payment fee. So that's where that additional $8 come into play. I guess Flex got to make their money some way. So that's how they're making money. Um, yeah, so you have to pay $800 or whatever your rent is plus the 1% bill payment fee. Now, the second payment, like I was telling you guys, uh, will be typically due on the 15th of the month. However, you can adjust the second payment um, until the last six days of the month. So that gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Um, but do keep in mind, you do got that first, um, the next payment that will be rolling around. So if you push it back too close to the end of the month, you got to keep in mind that that payment on the first is going to be due for your next month's rent. So if you can make that payment on the 15th, do that. Next, you got your membership fee, which also comes out on the 15th of the month. The membership fee is $14.99. So um, it looks like this is just you, um, you know, maintaining flex. So obviously mean that each month you got to make sure that your membership fee is paid and that you just got the funds to make your rent that you were already going to pay anyway. This just gives you a little bit more flexibility. And I like the concept of flex like i feel like it is helpful um there are a lot of apartment complexes that do um, allow you to split your rent now if you are someone who wants to check and see if your apartment complex is eligible i will have that link in the description box so all you have to do is type in your address to see if your property is um working with flex have partnered with flex to be able to allow you to um try this out so if you have any you know, thoughts about Flex, personal experiences with Flex, drop it down below. But to me personally, um, if we would have went with the apartment complex that we saw, um, I probably would have tried it out so that I can give my experience on it. Um, I don't necessarily need to do this, 
but um, I do like to share my experience before I recommend things. But I did search and search into this for months before I decided to make a video on it to see if there were any, you know, bad reviews about it. And obviously you're gonna get your good and bad, but ultimately what it boils down to from the bad is people just weren't making their payments. It's not necessarily that Flex um, wasn't legit. It was either their apartment complex wasn't partnered with Flex, so they felt the way about that, or you know they didn't make their payment on time, so they lost the ability to work with Flex, or their credit profile wasn't up to par, so they weren't eligible. So I haven't seen any other thing where Flex was stealing people's information or it wasn't legit, but if you have a personal story, please share that below because I like to hear the good and the bad, and I'm sure a lot of you would like to get both sides of the spectrum as well before you make a decision to check this out. But um, this really would come in handy during this time of the year where you know money starts to get a little tight because holidays are picking up. So um, this would just allow a little bit more flexibility, you the ability to have more money so you ain't feeling like, damn, bro, all I do is work. And as soon as I work, I pay my bills. I never got no money for myself. Like I know sometimes we just love to see the money sit in the account rather than it's just like, as soon as we get the money, here go the companies with their hands out. So it will be great to be able to just split that payment up so we can at least stare at that $1,500, $40. Look how I just jump from 15 to 40 because that's how I be sometimes, you know. We can just look at the money sitting in the account before we got to pay it, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't need to use Flex, it's just the fact of the matter. Why I got to give you all the money up front on the first? I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this is a dope concept. So I will have all the information in regards to Flex link below. In no way is this a sponsored video. I would definitely let you guys know if I ever worked with a company before talking about it. And I ain't going to talk about shit. I ain't trying myself. But I really, really, really been doing a lot of research on this. I've really been seeing a lot of people struggling to pay rent and wanted to know how can they get help in this situation. If you don't have rental assistance in your area, this may be something you want to look at and it may be beneficial, especially if your apartment complex is partnered with Flex. So if y'all have any questions, if you want to share your stories, please share them below. We would love to hear them. I'm interested and always open to hearing. And if you have any other ways that could be beneficial, you know, any other methods that may help someone, you know, pay rent aside from being smart and telling people don't get no apartment if you can't pay, because obviously they know that, but things happen. So um, if you got any tips, put them down below. And again, you know, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.